19 years old, San Juan might be seen as a small-time graffiti artist, but her canvas of choice is far from small-time, and San is all about giving her hometown a one-of-a-kind makeover. It's going to be like about two years already that I've been actually drawing them on the street. And I started because I like painting, and I was like, how am I going to do something and make people see it instead of just being at, at my house painting? I could go out on the streets and paint my characters on walls, paint on trucks. I paint on corn cards. It's like people get to see it instead of me being at home painting. Nobody's ever going to see that. Some people think graffiti is bad, but it, it depends how you see it. If you see all these colors, then you know there was time and effort, skill and dedication put into that walk. That's when you know it's art. So I have art in different areas. I have art in Miami, in Mexico City, in Puerto Rico. And then I have art all over LA. So if you take a drive around LA, you'll see like stuff in South Central, East LA, downtown LA. San Juan's momentum continues to accelerate at a faster pace than most of her peers. But she knows better than to rest on her laurels by refining her work at the comfort of her own home. When I'm at home, that's when I do my canvases. I'll paint canvases, I'll paint purses. So that's like, to me, that's my girl time. You know, like when you're at home, you do your makeup, and you do your hair. Instead of doing that, I do canvases. I paint big canvases, small canvases. And then I put them in galleries. So I've been able to expose them in different galleries. And people that appreciate and support my art have actually bought it stuff. By giving a rough edge to her feminine designs, Sans art might be growing in popularity, but she hasn't forgotten how to keep it real and stay connected with what inspired her stylish strokes in the first place. My characters are influenced by the ghetto. Like, I feel that my characters have attitude. So my characters are like, they're Latina girls, they're black girls, they could be any girl. Any girl could be my character. And like I said, they have attitude. You know, they're like, they're feminine. I love it when I hear like young kids from like the ghetto and they'll walk up to me and they'll be like, oh my god, you're an inspiration to me, I look up to you. I feel like I'm, I'm setting a good example. I'm not a statistic, I'm not pregnant, I'm not on drugs, you know. Even though I live among those kinds of things, like I choose to go the other route. I like being an owner. <laughs> it's better to be alone than to be with bad company. Whether it's sprayed on a taco truck or hung on the wall of an art gallery, Sand's work is a clear example that big dreams have big payoffs, even for small-time artists. Whatever you want to do, if you want to paint, if you want to cook, if you want to do makeup, whatever you want to do, staying at home is not going to do it. Just chase after what you want. If you want to paint, if you want to do backflips for a living, whatever you want to do, just do it.